Hey Scorpio, welcome to your August tarot reading. This is for, oh shit. <laughs> I'm so happy that happened on camera. The death card. Okay, well, if you have Scorpio in your chart, this is fucking for you because I couldn't have written that better. I'll let that speak for itself. You decide if you want to stick around. <laughs> if you do stick around, please do feel free to like, comment about that divine shit below, okay? Especially if you're going through a transformation this month. Embracing the new, perhaps, okay? Are we becoming our butterfly selves? Anyway, you know the deal. Like, comment. It really helps my channel. It helps me as a reader. It helps me grow with the feedback. It helps other people find it to the message okay um yeah and then let's just get into it because that threw me off <laughs> i forgot my whole jig so we're showing up in the three of swords why why are we heartbroken the two of swords is in the reverse as our shadow card we had to make a choice why did it cause us so much pain Knight of Cups in the reverse. Perhaps the love offer didn't come in or didn't work out. We'll see. The Emperor. Aries energy. The Two of Cups. Oh my god. The Four of Pentacles. We're holding on to a past love. We're holding back. Maybe us holding back. If you're preventing yourself from expressing love, that could be just as hurtful. I mean, that would make sense because your challenge is the Three of Pentacles, working together, building a foundation, right? Discovering someone's mm, workable energy, right? What you can work with, what you can do, okay? Common ground. I'm getting communication off this too. Challenge, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. It has to look different than before. The Hermit, Virgo energy, and the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Okay, this may just be about not rushing. Why is that so painful for you? We're holding back our love. Our challenge is to not rush giving it, but it actually hurts to hold back. Scorpio, you're so intense. I like that. Okay, so this is either a union, new love, three of pentacles in the reverse, which is your challenge card. You don't know if someone's for you yet. You're like, I'm still feeling you out. Are you worth investing in? Because here's the thing, as Scorpios, right? When we decide that we're gonna invest in you, take me ring shopping, like it's a dumb deal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's forever. That's the loyalty, okay? That's also why Scorpios are known for being mysterious, right? That's where we get our rap from, for being secretive, right? Mm-hmm. It's because we're trying to gauge, are you worth what I can give you? Yeah. Our focus is not getting in our own head. Five of Swords in the reverse, staying out of our own way, making a choice, not doubting ourselves. Temperance in the reverse, Sagittarius energy. The Five of Cups, past pain, but it's like it's hidden, maybe? Or it was hidden and it's come up to the surface. Seven of Swords, uh huh, we pretended like it wasn't there. Or it's something we always carried that we thought we would never be able to let go of. And it's like, well, that was a lie. I actually don't have to be that person or accept that narrative or stay in that relationship, right? Some of you are holding on to a past love that's affecting the foundation, okay, of what you're trying to build now, okay? In the past, Ace of Wands, lots of sexual energy here. It is creation energy, but I'm picking it up as sexual. There's that Ace of Wands in the reverse. Wheel of Fortune. It was blocked on purpose. It was blocked on purpose. You couldn't figure out why. You couldn't understand why. Maybe you weren't even interested for a really long time. Oh, like I wasn't even giving that the time of day. But again, it was really the divine that was in control. 
Okay, but you were in alignment. You were doing the right thing. The Ten of Wands in the reverse is your strength position. The fact that you have let go of something. You did release. A responsibility that wasn't yours. Hmm. You would have carried it forever. Some of it, you, you released a marriage, a person, a person you were committed to. You felt responsible for. There's that death card that wants to make an appearance earlier in the reverse. Okay. So that's what this is. The world in the reverse. There wasn't closure. Something had to be final choice. Like this might be like signing papers energy, right? Or we let the old way go. We're embracing who we want to become. But again, it's a choice. Hmm. We're going to go a little bit deeper, I think. Yeah. Death, the Hierophant, the world in the reverse. That needs to be looked at, please. King of Wands. Oh, this is ego. Ego. Well, I thought this person was going to be forever. Well, we promised. We got married. It has to be. I can't ever get divorced. I can't ever change my mind about anything. Um, this could be spiritual beliefs. Okay. Like, if you held yourself very strict to, like, the Ten Commandments, and then all of a sudden... Maybe you want to kiss a girl, you know? Just doing you, but you have to embrace that you version, okay? Guilt-free, shame-free. But hey, man, the reverse. Exactly. Change your perspective on your wants and what that means, your sexual energy and love, love and passion. Oh my God, stop. Stop it. You have learned how, or are learning, okay? It's in your strength how to both feel and enjoy that can be one energy you know merge that so to speak interesting hmm. six of wands in the reverse going forward the nine of wands in the reverse the seven of cups we saw that earlier the high priestess pisces energy intuitively you're hanging back from making a choice you feel like you might have to still release something. Maybe let go. If this is resonating on a love level for you, Scorpio, you have to let go of that past person. You have to finish that. Mm. Hmm. We've been holding back for a long time. But we're being called to find ourselves again. Our happiness. Maybe your sexuality, okay? Again, it's creative energy. You could be pursuing new work for sure. We'll check specifically in with career afterwards because I'm very much reading this as a love reading. Which is weird, especially since I'm about to tell you that your advice is the five of wands. Um, I don't like that. That's competition. Combative. Pick your battles. Fight for something. Three of wands. Your future. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. It's worth giving to Seven of Swords in the reverse and being authentic with. If somebody has upset you, it doesn't have to be in love. It's in general. It's in life. Where you feel like you're going against yourself. You just can't live that way. You have to say something. Like, you're supposed to say it, Scorpio. Three of Wands. This could be figuring out how to communicate a problem. This could be somebody learning to deal with an anger issue. Like anger management, 100%. Some of you just got advice to go to anger management. And if that resonates, take it. There's no shame in that. Okay. It's about being transparent. Very, very true. Mask off. Who cares about judgment? Who cares what other people think? Who cares what other people would say? Right? Between you and the divine, what's going on? What's the truth? I don't know why it's going to piss somebody off, but don't let that hold you back again it has to do with your um future and there's something about this needs to happen this conflict or exchange of energy to move forward it has purpose it has intent okay seven it might cause some deep change for sure oh that's interesting that i did that let me pull on this a little bit more
Yeah. Okay. So right now we're acting really sure, but that might not be either A, the best choice, or B, we're not as sure as we're saying we are, or we're committing ourselves to, okay? Two of wands in the reverse, five of swords. Yeah. We know things need to change. We need to get out of our own way. Your advice is to just do that. That's all that's saying. Okay, Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse for what you don't see coming, please, Spirit. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy here. Queen of Wands. Uh-huh. It doesn't have to be how you were taught or what you thought it would look like. Things are going to look different. 100%. Ten of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. However, some of you are realizing that love connection has been very surface level in the past. It's been about like, how can I paint this really pretty? Instead of going within and letting it embed in you, you know, take root within you. It almost feels like, look at this pretty love I have to everyone. You know, that's changing. It's about depth now. Oh shit, I just saw judgment was at the bottom. Dang. Hmm, it makes sense. Yeah? Knight of Cups in the reverse, in your hopes and fears. Don't let love stall you. Don't give your heart away to people who don't deserve it. That Those days are over. That was in your strength here's your challenge three of pentacles in the reverse yeah if someone doesn't have the same goals as you if they are full of red flags you're gonna acknowledge that right eight of wands there's opportunities you gotta communicate that that's your advice is to talk about it right bring it up three of wands mm-hmm a message from your soul is also saying a lot of us put off love Tell ourselves we're not ready. Eight of Wands, Three of Pentacles in the reverse, Three of Swords. Or excuse me, Three of Wands. Yeah, it's a bunch of false start or not really meeting the right person because it's not aligned, you know? Hmm. Your soul is looking for alignment with love, okay? Remember we saw that King of Wands and King of Cups energy? That's what we want to see in the change perspective. That was in our strength. We want love and we want passion. We want both. We want that ener those energies to merge. Remember? That's what your soul's pointing out. Hold true to that. Okay? It's worth it. Page of Wands in the reverse going forward. Three of Swords in the reverse. The Magician. Wow. And strength, Leo energy, Gemini, Virgo. We're healing. We're creating a completely new story for ourselves. Even though it feels uncomfy or we don't know like really what we're doing, right? It's like we're surrendering. Oh my God, judgment. Yeah, surrendering. Exactly. Thank you, spirit. Cool, just... <laughs> All right, Scorp. Interesting read. Very intense effing month if you have not checked out the lion's gate video that i plan on doing check that out should be out okay let's look into finances career for august how are you doing scorpio um what do we need to know okay Ooh, six of swords we're moving forward here okay especially from a period of instability right not feeling sh like we had structure Page of Pentacles, learning. Yeah, you know, be careful in work, okay? If this did not resonate with you on a love level, but you're picking it up in work, mm -hmm. be mindful, right? Yeah, this is also, again, you don't have to, I think you had a very similar message in July, I don't know though. Um. You don't have to do it by yourself. You're learning how to let people help, how to trust people, how to build a foundation. I love it. Look at that. Keep of faith. A lot of you could have recently switched careers, positions, even like, I don't know, I'm getting buildings or something. 
Tell me anything else on that King of Pentacles, please. We were doing the same exact thing, getting the same results, of course. Of course, of course. Come out, please, if you want to be seen. The King of Pentacles in the reverse. What about it? The Tower. Our energy. Hello. Yeah, we didn't want to live like that anymore. Got sick of it. Nine of Wands. We were holding on. Mm-hmm. It was blocking our happiness for sure. But here's the thing. So we had to find a new path. And it's still figuring that out. But Spirit says let others help. Seek resources. Okay. Be brave enough to do something new. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it might be about you making the offer. Okay. Now, for love. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Doing it differently. Maybe not waiting. Right? Living with intent. Okay. Anyway, so for Scorpio, for love, please, for August, what do we need to know? Look at that Three of Cups. Every deck I use. Every deck I use. Three of Cups, please, Spirit. Or excuse me, love. Three of Cups, though, yeah. Love for August for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, the Empress in the reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. What does that mean? Something's being blocked until we nurture and balance our plate. So are you giving the world at the bottom with the moon? Oh, yeah. Temperance. <sighs> what? What did you guys try to manifest in for Lionsgate that caused this? <laughs> Oh my god. Trying to keep everything all together. But you can't balance when you're like drained. And I don't know if this means that you aren't expressing love, right? We saw hints of this and that's what's missing or if you're overgiving. Four of swords in the reverse. You may be overgiving. Four of Swords in the reverse. The Devil in the reverse. Detachment. Yeah, it comes from a beautiful place, but you have to learn how to put yourself first. You have other things you need to tend to. Yeah, in your routine. Some of you may be choosing to take a break from love. You're trying to ground yourself this month. Last minute advice for Scorpio, please, for August. The Seven of Pentacles, plant new seeds. Scorpio, what is this about? The star in the reverse, Aquarius energy, page of cups in the reverse. Yeah. Plant new seeds, the way you thought it was going to be, it looks nothing like that. You have a destiny that wants to come in for you. But it's about detachment. Scorpio for August. Ten of Wands, which was in your strength position, reversed. You have to release the burden. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, a lot of you are giving too much, okay, to one area of your life and it's tipping the scale, so to speak, okay? I hope that helps, Scorpio. If you like a personal, by all means, hit me up. It's in the description box, okay? Like, share, comment, subscribe, check your other placements, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.